All right, everybody, welcome to my living room and also our SHOT Show highlight for today. Today we're gonna to be talking about a company that I've been working with for a long period of time and uh, actually they're one of the very first brands that I uh, actually met somebody from their company. And I just wanted to say that I have had the blessing of becoming friends with these people over the course of my career in the firearms industry and I've had the privilege of seeing their product line expand and uh, that company is Tactical Walls, and their products are built around the uh, premise of hiding your defensive firearms in plain sight. So there's a balancing act between security and accessibility. And what I mean by that is if you've got a firearm that is, uh, that is locked behind a safe, it's not very accessible. It's super secure, but not very accessible. The converse of that would be having a firearm laying out on your counter, and not everybody's life situation allows them to do that, uh, especially if you have kids. So Tactical Walls products, what they do is they strike a balance between those two uh, things that we have to contend with as far as responsible firearms owners. To be clear, this is not meant to uh, take the place of a safe. It just has never been conceived to be that way, but your defensive firearm that is in use as far as having something readily accessible to you, uh, either a standard firepower package or something that upgrades your firepower, uh, is this is just a really good option. So they started out with uh, products that basically hid uh, things between the studs of your house, and now they've expanded into a lot of other things that are different spins on the same premise. And today we're gonna be looking at this, Tactical Walls end table. And what's special about this is it allows you to have a very nice piece of American manufactured, American sourced real wood furniture that looks pretty darn good and still have a hidden defensive cavity set up for input of a defensive firearm. Today I've got the TP9 SFX in there. It's a long slide. So as you can see, it fully accommodates a large handgun, extra magazines. I've got a flashlight and a tourniquet in there. Plenty of space in there. I thought about putting my MP5 in there, but uh, I thought this was a better option because uh, the VSA Mud Girl is pretty well trained on the Canic line pistols. It's her favorite pistol to shoot, so I thought that it would be good to have something that she's pretty good with as well. Now, the reason uh, this thing is special is actually this was refinished by the VSO Mud Girl. And it's very important for me to have a woman like this in my life because she's very into making sure that uh, things look right as far as decorating is concerned. And if it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't even have blinds on these windows here. So uh, kudos to her. She completely redid this because it came in the raw and she varnished it and refinished it with the help of her mother. And as you can see, it looks very, very good. And the reason that's important is there's a lot of imitation products that have come out that have basically reverse engineered the Tactical Walls product. Some of them have even purchased the Tactical Walls product and sent it to the Chinese and said, hey, make this Ikea style so that we can sell it for a high margin. That, from where I'm coming from, is called stealing. So I wanted to let you guys know that this is the original. This is what's, um, this is the stuff that you should be supporting as far as um, American manufactured, American job, American sourced resources, not some Chinese knockoff type stuff. And this stuff is made here in the United States out of quality materials. This is a very, very hardcore, nice piece of furniture uh, that you would innocuously find in anybody's home in the United States. So how this thing works is there is an RFID card and you just simply run it across the front there. You can hear it actuate, push down on the thing and she is ready to rock and roll. That is adjustable, so that you can set the descent speed, whatever works for you. Um, and the foam is easily customizable, and they do sell uh, additional foam pieces if you screw up or if you want to change the firearm and it's in there. So they're pretty much full service as far as that is concerned. And I just think it's a really awesome product, and I thought that we should talk about it here today. Now, to that end, we will be at the Tactical Walls booth on Tuesday, early in the morning at 9 a.m. Uh, we will be doing a live cast from their booth here at SHOT Show. If you are at the show, be sure to come by and uh, hang out with us, talk about this stuff, as well as just meet and greet and chat and su such like that. I can introduce you to the quality individuals at that company, and then we can go from there. If you're not 
at the show, then you can find us on our Facebook page uh, with the live cast at 9 a.m. Shot Show Time. And uh, make sure that you go over there, like our Facebook, as well as uh, move us to the top of your feed so that you can keep up with everything else that we're checking out at the SHOT Show. Thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you guys on a future video.